Hello all, hope you are doing fine. So let's say you have developed this application and you have deployed it on your, on, on GCP uh, through App Engine and now you want to secure this app. So you have developed this application only for certain users and you don't want others to have access to it. So how do you achieve it? So there are, there are many ways you can achieve this. For example, uh, you can restrict the access through VPN at the network layer or you can configure the user ID and passwords in the database and based on that you can actually grant the access. But how do you achieve that in the GCP? And the answer is IAP, which is Identity Aware Proxy. So let's deep dive into IAP. What it is exactly? So it's a GCP service that intercepts web requests sent to your application. So IAP will take care of authentication and authorization of your application. So let's say you have uh, created this app for your organization and it is only for certain cer uh, for only for certain group of users. Now you don't want others to have access to it. So uh, how you'll go about this? So what you'll do here is you'll create an IAP on uh, onto your app engine and then you'll have then you'll create this uh, group of users which will uh, which will be uh, which will be the users which you want to have an access to your to this application and they will have certain permission they will have a certain permission which is please uh, please mark this it's, it's a very important permission to have access uh, whenever you set an iap and that is iap secured web app user so uh, so whoever has this uh, permission to uh, to to the to the certain user can actually access the app so based on this permission it will uh, grant grant the access or reject the access uh, so let's see how exactly the IAP works. So whenever whenever a user sets up uh, the IAP over App Engine, IAP will actually sit between the user and the App Engine. So whenever a user requests come to the App Engine, uh, it will first go through the IAP, and based on the uh, based on the uh, user based on the authentication and authorization criteria which has been set into the IAP, it will actually grant the access or reject the access depending on the user and its roles. So that's how actually IAP works. So let's just do some hands-on. Uh, so as you can see, I already have deployed the sample application on App Engine. It's just a simple Python application which just prints the hello world. And this is an app URL. So let's just see. So as you can see, it just printed the hello world. But the challenge over here is, as you can see, whoever has this URL can access this application. There is no security mechanism or authentication mechanism in place so how do we secure this application and the answer is iap we have to set the iap over our app engine so let's just see how we can achieve that first what we have to do is we have to create an oauth consent screen so let's just navigate to the consent screen from the iap and you can see i already have created the consent screen so let's just see what all options you'll you'll be getting into the consent screen form so you can see there is an app name, user support email. So so basically you'll just fill up the app information first, and then you'll uh, you'll add your the domain uh, your application domain, and then whatever the domains you need to uh, you need to pass it for the authorization that you'll pass it into the authorization domains. And once that is being done, you can just save and continue. So once you save your uh, consent screen. What you can do is you can just go to the identity uh, aware proxy uh, menu. So you'll just navigate to the IAP, and over here you can see that uh, whatever the consent form you have created is not yet switched on. So you'll just go. Uh, so let's just let's just check if we can see any consent form as of yet. No, you can see that uh, no uh, no authentication mechanism is still not in place. So what we can do is we have to just switch on this IAP. Yes, we'll turn on the IAP. Now we'll just copy this URL. And we'll just open it into the incognito window. So we can so you can see now it is asking for your authentication. So now the 50% of work, uh, our work has been done. Now the another scenario over here is, 
so now how do you tell iap that who are the valid users and whom should whom should go through in and whom should have the access to the application so for that what you have to do is you have to go to the iam and admin roles you have to create a user with a certain uh, with a certain access so you'll just add the user and we'll add the uh, valid uh, google id and then you'll uh, select a role which is iap secured web app user and just save it yes so you can see you have just created a user with the role and with the permission which is iap secured web app user now what you have to do is you'll just have to again switch into the iap and then uh, select the app okay so now you can see that uh, the members who are allowed to app, uh, access this app is iap secure web app user and you'll see that your users user is listed under the uh, this access so now what you can do is you'll again refresh the web page and you'll write the your web mail id let me just give the access and voila you can see i can access the uh, application now so yeah that's all our so that's all about it thank you